This is an Integral Yoga Hatha Beginners One class. Please come to a comfortable sitting position. You can sit in Sukhasana, the easy pose, simply crossing the legs with the feet under the opposite thighs. Or you can try sitting with the ankles uncrossed, one leg placed in front of the other. You can also place a cushion under the hips, making it easier to bring the knees toward the floor and to hold the spine erect. If sitting cross-legged is not comfortable, you can sit in Vajrasana, the pelvic pose, by coming up onto the knees, bringing the big toes together, the heels apart, and sitting back. When practicing these meditative postures, pain or discomfort in the knees or ankles is a sign to come out. If you are menstruating, we ask that you listen to your body and be gentle. Check the posture. Have the spine erect but not stiff, shoulders back and relax down, head centered, eyes closed. Take a few deep breaths and begin to relax. We'll begin the class by chanting Om three times, followed by a Hari Om chant. Please inhale for Om. Om. Hari Om is a mantra or sound vibration repeated to awaken energy and create a peaceful feeling. As we chant Ha, the energy rises from the solar plexus area. As we chant Ri, the energy becomes concentrated in the chest area. During Om, the vibration is felt in the head and continues still higher. We'll chant Hari Om responsively with Swami Sachidananda. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari 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 Om. 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 Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Hari Om. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Hari Om. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari 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 Om. Hari Om. Hari Om, Hari Hari Om. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Hari Please remove glasses for netraviyamam, the eye movements. We'll be moving the eyes in each direction, stretching as far to the periphery as is comfortable without strain. Keep the posture steady, the head still, and the face relaxed. For vertical movements, open the eyes 
and look up as far as you comfortably can. Then stretch the eyes down as far as you can. Up, down, and continue at your own pace. Be sure not to strain the eyes. Next time the eyes move up, center, close, and relax them. For horizontal movements, open the eyes and look to the far right, then straight across to the far left. Right, left. Continue at your own pace, being sure not to strain the eyes. When the eyes next move to the right, center, close, and relax them. For circular movements, first clockwise, open the eyes and look up. Move them slowly around to the right in a full circle around the periphery of the vision, passing smoothly through all points on the circle. If there are areas where the eyes skip or jerk, go a little slower next time around. Next time the eyes return to the top, center, close, and relax them. For counterclockwise movements, open the eyes and look up. Move the eyes around to the left in a full circle. When the eyes return to the top, center, close, and relax them. Keeping the eyes closed, rub the palms together briskly until you feel heat. Cup the palms over the eyelids with the fingers up. Let the warmth and darkness soothe and relax the eyes. Lightly stroke the eyelids out toward the ears a few times. Return the hands to the lap and feel the effects. Please stretch out the legs, then come to a standing position at the front of your mat to begin Surya Namaskaram, the sun salutation. This is a series of 12 positions that flow one into the next. The sun salutation serves as a general tonic for the entire system and limbers you up for the rest of the poses. Have the feet parallel, either together or a comfortable distance apart, palms together in front of the chest, lock the thumbs or raise the arms with the palms facing each other, extend the arms out and up alongside the ears, stretch up and gently bend back from just below the shoulder blades. Hinge forward from the hips, keeping the back flat arms alongside the ears. Keep the knees as straight as possible, bending slightly to avoid any back pain. Place the hands on the floor outside the feet. Stretch the left leg far back, left knee on the floor. Release the pelvis toward the floor. Move the chest forward, elongate the spine, and look forward. Bring the right foot back even with the left, buttocks raised high, flattening the back so the body forms an inverted V shape. Relax the crown of the head toward the floor. Draw the hips away from the hands, lengthening the spine and lowering the heels toward the floor. Lower the knees, move forward, leaving the pelvis slightly raised. Lower the chest and chin to the floor. The hands are beneath the shoulders. Shift the body weight forward, lowering the pelvis to the floor. Elongate the spine and lift the head, neck, and chest with little or no pressure on the palms. Pushing on the hands, raise the buttocks again to form an inverted V. Lengthen the spine and lower the heels toward the floor. Step the left foot forward between the hands, right knee to the floor. The knee is above the ankle. Release the pelvis toward the floor. Move the chest forward. Elongate the spine and look forward. 
bring the right foot forward even with the left. Straighten the knees, lengthen the spine, relaxing the head towards the floor. Stretch the arms out alongside the ears, either lock the thumbs or have the palms facing each other, and bending the knees if necessary, lengthen the spine, stretching out, up, and bending back. Stand erect, bring the palms together at the chest, lower the arms, feet apart, and relax. Position 1. Palms together in front of the chest. Position two, extend the arms out and up alongside the ears and gently bend back from just below the shoulder blades. Position three, hinge forward from the hips, keeping the back flat, relaxing the head and arms toward the floor. Position four, stretch the left leg far back, left knee on the floor, elongate the spine and look forward. Position five, bring the right foot back even with the left, buttocks raised high, inverted V-shape. Position six, lower the knees, leaving the pelvis slightly raised, lower the chest and chin to the floor. Position seven, shift the body weight forward. Position eight, pushing on the hands, raise the buttocks again to form an inverted V. Position nine, step the left foot forward between the hands. Position 10, bring the right foot forward even with the left relaxing the head towards the floor. Position 11, stretch the arms out alongside the ears, lengthen the spine, stretching out, up, and bending back. Position 12, stand erect, bring the palms together at the chest, lower the arms, feet apart, and relax. Position one, palms together in front of the chest. Position two, extend the arms out and up and gently bend back from just below the shoulder blades. Position three, hinge forward from the hips, keeping the back flat, relaxing the head and arms toward the floor. Position four, stretch the left leg far back, left knee on the floor. Position five, bring the right foot back even with the left, buttocks raised high. Position six, Lower the chest and chin to the floor. Position seven, shift the body weight forward. Position eight, pushing on the hands to form an inverted V. Position nine, step the left foot forward between the hands. Position 10, bring the right foot forward. Position 11, Stretch the arms out alongside the ears, lengthen the spine, stretching out. Position 12, stand erect, bring the palms together at the chest. Lower the arms, feet apart, and relax. Please turn around and lie on the back in Savasana, the corpse pose. Have the feet about shoulder width apart, and the arms slightly away from the body with the palms up. The eyes are closed. Mentally, go through the body from the feet to the head or the head to the feet. See if there is any tension. If you find any tension, mentally send a message to that part of the body to relax completely. Let the breath be relaxed. Approach the entire Hatha Yoga session as a meditation. Move gently from one position to the next. Keep a level of comfort during the asanas so that the breathing can remain steady, never labored. If at any time you notice you are straining in a pose, feel free to ease up or to come out of the pose and relax in savasana. Remember that asanas are done without any competition or expectation. Now please roll over onto the abdomen in preparation for the backward bending poses. Turn the cheek to the side, arms alongside the body with the palms up, feet a comfortable distance apart, and relax. This is Advasana, the relaxation pose on the abdomen. Bhujangasana, the cobra pose. Bring the legs and feet together or slightly apart, palms on the floor beneath the shoulders. The elbows are raised and close to the body. Place the forehead on the floor. On the next inhalation, lengthening the back of the neck and with little or no pressure into the hands, 
slowly raise the head, neck, and chest. Feel the vertebrae rolling back one by one as the spine lengthens forward and upward. Breathe naturally and have the awareness on the upper back. As you release into the stretch, feel the chest expanding and the arch deepening. On the next exhalation, roll down slowly, one vertebra at a time. Lower the chin, bring the forehead to the floor, turn the cheek to the side, keep the arms in place and relax with the feet apart. For the second round, bring the feet into place, check the position of the hands, bring the forehead on the floor, Please come up once more. Lower down slowly, turning the cheek to the opposite side. Rest in the relaxation pose on the abdomen. Ardha Salabhasana, the half locust pose. Extend the chin or forehead on the floor. Rock from side to side. Tuck the arms under the body and have the palms facing up. Or make fists. Have the elbows as close together as comfortable. Bring the legs together. Stretch the right leg out from the hip. Inhale and slowly raise while keeping the weight centered on both hips. Knee straight. Breathe naturally. Focus your awareness on the lower back. Lengthen it without straining while extending through the leg and foot. On the next exhalation, continue to lengthen and slowly lower down. Stretch the left leg out from the hip. Inhale and slowly raise while keeping the weight centered on both hips. Knee straight. Breathe naturally. Focus your awareness on the lower back. Lengthen it without straining while extending through the leg and foot. On the next exhalation, continue to lengthen and slowly lower down. This time, turning your chin to the opposite side and relax. And now repeating, stretch the right leg out from the hip. Inhale and slowly raise while keeping the weight centered on both hips. Knee straight. Breathe naturally. On the next exhalation, continue to lengthen and slowly lower down. Stretch the left leg out from the hip. Inhale and slowly raise while keeping the weight centered on both hips. Knee straight. Breathe naturally. On the next exhalation, continue to lengthen and slowly lower down. Now relax in Advasana, turning your cheek to the opposite side, releasing your arms, palms facing up, and relax in Advasana. For those who are comfortable, we'll continue with Salabhasana, the locust pose, where we lift both legs at the same time. If you felt that half locust was challenging enough, you can repeat that pose or continue to rest. Salabhasana, the locust pose, Place the chin on the floor and tuck the arms under the body, palms up, or form fists. Have the elbows as close together as possible. Stretch the legs back, inhale, and raise the legs up slowly. Keep the knees straight and the legs touching or as close together as comfortable, extending through the legs and feet. Breathe easy. Have the awareness on the lower back. Lengthen it without straining, while extending out through both legs. On the next exhalation, continue to lengthen and slowly lower down. Turn your cheek to the other side, release your arms and hands, palms facing up, and relax in Advasana. Dhanurasana, the bow pose. Bring the forehead to the floor, bend the knees and bring the heels toward the buttocks. Reach back and take hold of the feet or ankles. Have the knees and feet apart and parallel if possible. If you're comfortable in this preparatory position, keep the arms straight and on the next inhalation, 
Press the feet or ankles into the hands, lifting the lower half of the body. Then slowly raise the head, neck, and chest, balancing on the abdomen. Breathe naturally. Open the chest, relax the muscles along the spine, and gaze upward. Have the awareness on the entire spine and or on the abdomen. Continuing to press the feet into the palms, allow the shoulders to release and the chest to expand further. Lower the legs, roll the chest, then chin, then forehead to the floor. Release the ankles or feet, turn the cheek to the side and relax. Roll over onto the back and rest in Savasana. Forward bending asanas. First, Janu Sirshasana, the head to knee pose. Please bring the legs together, stretch the arms overhead on the floor, lock the thumbs and give the body a good stretch. Leading with the arms, inhale and sit up. If you need to, you can use the hands or elbows to push up. Lower the arms, come onto the front of the sitting bones. Keep the right leg extended in front, toes up, knees straight. Bring the left knee toward the chest, lower the knee outward toward the floor, and place the sole of the foot on the inside of the right leg as high up as comfortable. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, slowly hinge forward from the hips, keeping the spine lengthened. When the lower back begins to round, release the arms taking hold of the leg or foot without straining the lower back. Allow the spine to release, the head and shoulders to relax. Breathe. Have the awareness on the low back or on muscles being stretched in the back of the legs. Allow the breath to move you deeper into the pose. Inhaling, feel the spine lengthen. Exhale, release. On the next inhalation, extend the arms alongside the ears and slowly raise up, lengthening the spine without straining the lower back. Lower the arms. Now extend the left leg. Toes up, knees straight. Bring the right knee toward the chest. Lower the knee outward toward the floor and place the sole of the foot on the inside of the left leg as high up as comfortable. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, slowly hinge forward from the hips, keeping the spine lengthened. When the lower back begins to round, release the arms taking hold of the leg or foot without straining the lower back. Allow the spine to release, the head and shoulders to relax. And breathe. Have the awareness on the low back or on muscles being stretched in the back of the legs. Allow the breath to move you deeper into the pose. Inhaling, feel the spine lengthen. Exhaling, release. On the next inhalation, extend the arms alongside the ears and slowly raise up, lengthening the spine without straining the lower back. Lower the arms, extend the leg, Tuck the chin and slowly lower down, keeping the arms extended and the legs on the floor. Relax in Savasana. Paschimottanasana, the forward bending pose. Coming up from Savasana, bring the legs together, stretch the arms overhead. Lock the thumbs if comfortable. Leading with the arms, inhale and come to a sitting position using the hands if needed. Lower the arms. Keep both knees straight, toes pointing upwards. Come to the front of the sitting bones. Inhale, raise the arms, lifting from the rib cage. Exhale, slowly hinge forward from the hips, lengthening the spine forward without straining the lower back. When forward as far as comfortable, or when the lower back begins to round, release the arms and take hold of the legs or feet. Allow the spine to release and the head and shoulders to relax. Have the awareness on the lower back or on the muscles being stretched in the back of the legs. Allow the breath to move you deeper into the pose. 
Inhale, feel the spine lengthen, and exhale, release. Inhale, feel the spine lengthen, exhale, release. On the next inhalation, lift the chest, extend the arms forward, and sit upright. Exhale, tuck the chin and slowly lower the back to the floor one vertebra at a time. Relax in Savasana. Sarvangasana, the shoulder stand. Sarvangasana should not be done by those with uncontrolled high blood pressure, hiatal hernia, neck injuries, recent surgery, headache or eye or ear problems, or for women during menstruation. Please remember not to cough, sneeze, or clear the throat while in the pose, or turn the neck from side to side. Make sure there is no long hair or jewelry behind the neck and tuck in your shirt. We will be staying in shoulder stand for three minutes. Please come out early if you need to. Place one or two folded blankets on your mat to help alleviate undue stress upon your neck. Lie on the mat with the shoulders in line with the edge of the blankets, head resting on the floor. Now bring the feet together and place the palms on the floor alongside the body. Press on the palms and while inhaling, raise the legs up and overhead until they're parallel on the floor behind you. Keeping the elbows in place, press the palms against the back and raise both legs toward the ceiling. Bring the awareness to the base of the throat, where the thyroid gland is located. Breathe normally. If you feel pressure on the back of the neck, you can tilt the chin up slightly. If you get tired or feel any strain, you can bend the knees toward the forehead or slowly come down out of the pose, reversing the steps you use to come into it. If you can, hold the pose a little longer to get the maximum benefit. If you are comfortable, you can straighten up a little more into the pose by bringing the elbows closer together, walking the palms closer to the shoulder blades, and moving the hips forward and the legs back. To come out of the pose, slowly lower the legs overhead until they are parallel to the floor. Bending the knees if you need to, place the palms down on the floor and roll out the back. If the head comes off the floor, tip the chin up. When the hips are down and the legs at 90 degrees, while exhaling, lower the legs slowly and with control. Bend the knees if you need to. Relax in Savasana. Matsyasana, the fish pose, which complements shoulder stand by giving us a reverse stretch to the neck. Bring the legs together, take hold of the sides of the thighs, place the weight on the elbows. Without moving them, sit up halfway looking down at the feet. Tilt the pelvis forward, giving the lower back a good arch. 
Inhale, expand the chest and fully arch the upper spine. Exhale, lower the crown of the head to the floor. Maintain the expansion of the chest, relax the shoulders and breathe deeply through the nose. Bring the awareness to the base of the throat where the thyroid gland is located. Fish pose is held for one third of the time that we are in shoulder stand. Come out when you need to. To come out, put the weight back on the elbows. Inhale, lift the head, and sit up halfway. Exhaling, lower the back to the floor, vertebra by vertebra. You can roll the head gently from side to side to relax the neck and relax in Savasana. Please sit up with your legs extended in front of you for Ardha Matsyandrasana, half spinal twist. Come to the front of the sitting bones, draw the toes upward. Bend the right leg toward the chest, cross the foot over the extended leg, placing the sole of the foot on the floor, close to the knee. Bring the right arm behind the back, place it on the floor and toward the middle of the spine. Wrap the front arm around the upraised knee, bringing the palm on or near the thigh. Grounding through both sitting bones, inhale and lengthen. Exhale and initiate the twist at the level of the navel. Feel the twist move gradually up the spine, the head turning last. Keep the awareness on the twist along the entire length of the spine. Keep the shoulders level, the chest open, with the neck in line with the rest of the spine. Breathe naturally. To come out of the pose, return the head to center, release the arms, uncross the leg, and stretch it out. Relax a moment before we practice the other side. Bend the left leg toward the chest. Cross the foot over the extended leg, placing the sole of the foot on the floor. Bring the left arm behind the back, wrap the front arm around the upraised knee, grounding through both sitting bones, inhale and lengthen. Exhale and initiate the twist at the level of the navel. Feel the twist move gradually up the spine, the head turning last. Keep the awareness on the twist along the entire length of the spine. Keep the shoulders level, the chest open, with the neck in line with the rest of the spine. Breathe naturally. To come out of the pose, return the head to center, release the arms, uncross the leg, and stretch it out. Yoga Mudra, the Yogic Seal. Sit in whatever cross-legged position is comfortable and have the spine erect, eyes closed. Bring the hands behind the back and take hold of one wrist. Inhale and lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinging forward from the hips. Come forward as far as comfortable. Relax the head and shoulders. Relax the breath. Bring the awareness within. Inhaling, very slowly raise the head, lengthen the spine, and come up to a seated position. Keeping the eyes closed, return the hands to the knees. Take a couple of slow, deep breaths and sit quietly for a moment, observing how you feel. In preparation for Yoga Nidra, deep relaxation, you may want to put on socks or sweaters as the body may cool down. Lie down in Savasana. We will go through the body part by part, tensing it, 
and raising each part a few inches off the floor. When asked to release, just relax all the muscles of that part and let it drop to the floor. Bring the awareness to the right leg. Stretch it out. Inhaling, tighten all the muscles of the leg. Raise it a few inches. Squeeze. Release. Gently roll the leg and relax it completely. Now bring the awareness to the left leg. Stretch it out. Inhaling, tighten all the muscles of the leg. Raise it a few inches. Squeeze. Release. Gently roll the leg and relax it completely. Stretch out the right arm and spread the fingers wide. Inhaling, make a fist. Tighten the arm. Raise it a few inches. Squeeze. Release. Roll the arm gently from side to side and let it rest with the palm up. Stretch out the left arm and spread the fingers wide. Inhaling, make a fist. Tighten the arm. Raise it a few inches. Squeeze. Release. Roll the arm gently from side to side and let it rest with the palm up. Bring the awareness to the buttocks. Inhaling, tighten the buttocks muscles and squeeze. Release. Feel the hips sinking down. Bring the awareness to the abdomen. Inhale deeply through the nose, puffing up the abdomen like a balloon. Open the mouth and release. Relax the abdomen. Bring the awareness to the chest. Inhale deeply, expanding the chest. Take in a little more air. Hold. Open the mouth and release. Relax the chest. Leaving the arms on the floor, slide the shoulders up towards the ears. Squeeze. Relax. Now lift the shoulders. Squeeze them together in front of the chest. Squeeze. Relax. Slide the shoulders down toward the feet and relax. Gently roll the head from side to side, mentally relaxing the neck muscles. Return the head to the center, relax. Bring the awareness to the face, gently move the jaw up and down, relax. Squeeze the lips together in a pout. Relax. Suck in the cheeks. Relax. Wrinkle the nose. Squeeze the eyes. Relax. Raise the eyebrows. Wrinkle the forehead. Relax. Now, squeeze all the muscles in the face toward the tip of the nose. Relax. Now, make any physical adjustments so you can remain perfectly still for the rest of Yoga Nidra. Next, you will focus the mind on each part of the body to release any remaining tension. If you detect any subtle tension anywhere, send a mental message to completely relax it. Without moving any part of the body, become aware of the toes and relax them. Relax the feet, ankles, lower legs, knees and thighs. Relax the buttocks and pelvis, the abdominal muscles, the internal organs. Relax the rib cage, chest, heart and lungs. Bring the awareness to the lower back and relax it. Moving up the spine, relax the middle back, the upper back, and the shoulder blades. Bring the awareness to the hands. Relax the fingers, palms, and back of the hands. Relax the wrists, forearms, elbows, and upper arms. Relax the shoulders, neck, and throat. Relax the chin and jaw, the tongue and mouth. Relax the lips, the cheeks, the nose, the eyes, forehead, ears, temples, sides of the head, back of the head, and the top of the head. Observe the body. 
feel that there is no tension anywhere in the body. As the body relaxes completely, keep the mind alert. Bring the awareness to the breath. When there is no tension in the body, the breath becomes very relaxed and subtle. Let it flow in and out. Remain a witness to the breath. Become aware of the mind. If you notice any thoughts, just let them pass by without becoming involved. Become a silent witness to the mind. Become aware of the peace within. This peace is your true self. Your true nature is peace. Take a few minutes now to feel that peace.
Please bring the awareness back to the breath and observe its gentle flow. Gently deepen the breath. Now take a full breath and feel that prana, or life force, is pervading every part of the body from head to the toes. Slowly begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes, the hands and feet. Roll the legs and arms from side to side. Give the body a stretch. Keeping the awareness centered within, slowly come up to a seated position for pranayama. Pranayama, the breathing practices. These practices are very subtle and powerful. They greatly energize the entire system and help to calm and clear the mind. In pranayama, breathe through the nose. Check the posture sitting as tall as possible, erect but relaxed. Place the hands on the knees or the lap. First, Dirgaswasam, deep breathing. We will be breathing slowly and deeply in three parts. To begin the practice, exhale fully through the nose. Then, to inhale, expand the abdomen first, then feel the rib cage lift and expand, and finally feel the collarbones rise. Exhale from the upper chest, feeling the collarbones lower. Then relax the lower ribs and gently pull in the abdomen to empty the lungs as fully as possible. Again, inhale, let the abdomen expand the rib cage and feel the collarbones lift, filling the lungs completely. Exhale, feel the collarbones lower, relax the rib cage and pull in the abdomen for a full exhalation. Close the eyes and continue, letting the parts blend one into the next, so the breath is one continuous smooth flow Breathe slowly and deeply. If you feel lightheaded or dizzy during any of the breathing practices, return the breath to normal. After the next exhalation, allow the breath to return to normal. Kapalabhati, the skull shining breath. This is rapid diaphragmatic breathing. To exhale, snap in the abdomen forcefully, which will push the air out of the nostrils. To inhale, relax the abdomen, and the air will return automatically. It looks and sounds like this. Please join in. Exhale completely, pulling the abdomen in. Inhale, begin. Exhale completely, pulling the abdomen in. Inhale a full, deep, three-part breath. Exhale slowly with control. Return the breath to normal and relax. For the second and third rounds, we will begin together. Check the posture. To begin, exhale fully, pulling in the abdomen, inhaling slightly, and begin. Continue now at your own pace, making sure to find a rate that allows for each expulsion to be vigorous but not strained. Be sure to keep the body steady as you practice Kapalabhati. Exhale completely, inhale fully, exhale slowly with control. Check the posture. To begin, exhale fully, inhaling slightly, and begin. Continue now at your own pace making sure to find a rate that allows for each expulsion to be vigorous but not strained. Be sure to keep the body steady as you practice Kapalabhati. Exhale completely. Inhale fully. Exhale slowly with control.
Nadi Sudhi, nerve purification, is alternate nostril breathing. Make a gentle fist with the right hand, releasing the thumb and last two fingers to form Vishnu Mudra. Close off the right nostril with the thumb and exhale slowly through the left. Inhale through the left. Close with the ring finger, release the thumb, and exhale slowly through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close it and exhale through the left. Continue this pattern. Exhale, inhale, and change nostrils. Exhale, inhale, and change. Keep the spine long and head tall. This practice calms and purifies the entire nervous system. Bring your whole awareness within and focus it on the breath. If you feel comfortable with this, add deep breathing. Gradually, make your exhale longer than your inhale. After the next exhalation through the right nostril, bring the hand back to the lap, sit quietly for a moment, and feel the benefits of Nadi Sudhi. Notice how calm the breath and mind have become. We'll end the class with peace chants and a brief silent meditation. When the mind is focused on one thing, it becomes quiet. During the meditation, you may silently repeat Om Shanti, or have the awareness on the breath, or you may use any meditation technique that is comfortable for you. If the mind wanders or various thoughts arise, simply return to the object of your meditation. Please check your posture, have the spine erect, the head, neck, and chest aligned, shoulders spread out, and the body relaxed. Try to remain motionless during the silence. We'll chant Om Shanti responsively, followed by a minute of silence. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om. 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 Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Om 
Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Asato ma sadgamaya. Asato ma sadgamaya. Tamaso ma jyotir gamaya. Tamaso ma jyotir gamaya. Mrityor ma Amritam gamaya Mrityorma Amritam gamaya Loka samasta sukino bhavantu Loka samasta sukino bhavantu Jai Sri Sadguru Maharaj Ki Jai